Kia ora. Welcome to Wednesday, the whatever the day it is, 17th of August. Wow, gosh, losing track of time. Uh, morning ramble for the day. Geese are flying over. Had a lot of them lately. Ducks are all fed. Sadly, uh, I was going to do the video slightly earlier before feeding the ducks this morning because there was a lovely mist down at the bottom of the property, but uh, that is pretty much evaporated. So, uh, afraid we won't get any real, real shots of that coming through. I'm uh, going to keep this one short today. Um, still feeling the bumps and bruises and carry over from uh, too much uh, too much excess um, and uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to ramble about this morning <laughs> usually it's just whatever pops into my mind but um, today I'm pretty mindless so there we go there's my ramble what happens when you have actually got nothing to ramble about um, usually my mind is racing at like a zillion miles an hour but for whatever reason this morning it doesn't seem to be I'm not sure if that was because yesterday was quite a busy day or um, maybe I've resolved some stuff in my head. I do not know. Um, Dawn's been doing a lot of freeze drying. Um, testing out the new, new freeze dryer and various combinations. Um, with gummy bears and candies and things like that. And uh, we had a wonderful experiment last night. I haven't got a shot of it, sorry, but... Uh, um, gummy bears, which were just a little over-processed, shall we say, and uh, kind of turned into pretty foofy, uh, shapeless monstrosities, I guess. Um, still delicious, which is why I'm paying the price on my foot, because I sampled candies, which is never a good idea. Concentrated candies, which are really just, you know, kind of sugar, um, does not play nicely with my system. So my right foot is telling me, you are going to become painful this morning and be inflamed because you had sugar which you should not really be eating it's not diabetes or anything like that so don't gout or whatever um, I've noticed that uh, when doing keto and basically staying away from carbs and processed foods um, more energy and less hassles with my body, generally. Um, you know, some of this is just old age, it's just kind of creeping in, and, well, I say old age, but you know what I mean. Um, the mind is willing, but the, but the flesh is weak, sort of thing. Um, and the, you know, side effects of that is that uh, when your body has basically been removed from all the junk, um, that's that's quite pretty just a moment again just the grassy knoll I just find this quite quite peaceful the walks in Tennessee are going to be a little a little different because um, a lot of woods and perhaps not as many you know little wild copses of flowers and you know, I know that there are weeds and things in here but just as a side tangent, this was all completely clear um, when the sheep were here. This used to be like um, kind of what you're seeing now, which is just like brambles, but it was like saplings and all manner of things. And if I kind of push into there, that's that was all cleared out. The sheep just basically turned that into a hey, we need a we need a nice little shelter place to chill out in the shade let's just chew down all this stuff that's here so this this was all brambles and briars and stuff and the sheep just absolutely destroyed those which is great but sadly it's grown back again but uh anyway so uh as i walk um half walk yeah so the the interesting thing is that when you when you do even have small quantities of let's say bad foods because really they, they kind of are processed sugars and all that kind of stuff processed carbs um, weirdly the body seems to like reject those really quickly um, 
I'm going to take that as a good thing because it's really your body saying, hey, what are you trying to do? Shove more of this poison that you've been putting into me for the last, you know, 40 odd years and, and cram it into me and nah, -uh. you shall suffer the wrath of pain to teach you a lesson. Um, or whether it's, you know, changes in biological processes maybe in, in terms of, you know, body's ability to process these things and they're just pretty much just going through as toxins and uh, having to be, they're not getting released quickly enough because I also have not been drinking enough water and that is something I have been rectifying. Um, then uh, the, uh, the end result is basically something that'll, you know, cause you a bit of, bit of agony. So I don't know. We'll just see how we go. Yeah, I'm kind of gonna miss, gonna miss all these uh, views. This is a bit all. This is really all overgrown. This is kind of sad because <laughs> really I've, in mind of the fact we're not going to be here, I've just, I'm just going, eh. <laughs> let it, let it grow. <laughs> so we've got a lot of. A lot of plant life com coming in. I do need to check to see what these are. Um, but it is a lovely, it is a lovely thing. I guess the the nature of the walks are going to be um, a little different. And you know, this view is, um, you know, it, this is five acres long. So, whoops, bright sun. Um, but, you know, it goes down beyond that uh, tree line and down to the shed at the bottom, as has been kind of shown before. You know, this is a strip of five acres. But um, the, uh, the, walk is, the walk is quite nice. And, you know, I don't know, an acre is what? Um, about 20,000 square feet. So if it's what, uh, I don't know what that is and lengthwise, it'll do some quick math, but if we're like 200 feet across and 100 feet down, that's what, 200 by 100 is 20,000, according to my modern math. Property is easily 200 feet wide. Um, so 100 feet down, so 500 feet would be uh, about right, which is not not really a lot when you kind of think about it, I guess. But it, it is when you're kind of walking it. So, 16 acres to traipse. Um, by the time I've cleared some trails and made some paths, then um, those paths will become walking tracks. And uh, it'll be a good opportunity to get a little more kind of rounded exercise on a larger area. So we are tripling the size of our land, though most of that is covered in trees. So anything involving clearings and stuff will be uh, working with what's already there. Anyway, that's my ramble for the morning. It is very, very rambly. Um, pretty mindless this morning. Gonna go and have a cup of coffee. Um, come up with some more topics to, to think about, no doubt, depending on what the day brings. And uh, take it from there. This weekend, um, weather permitting, we're going to go and explore the jungle so I might make a video of that because I'm amused by how tall the grass is in that in the old pig zone um, and I'm curious to see how many trombonchinos and things we're actually going to find in there <laughs> it's a great experiment <laughs> um, last season we had um, just while I'm on here last season we had uh, volunteer cherry tomatoes uh, we'd already planted a whole lot of cherry tomatoes, not as many as the previous year because um, they can be a pain, pain to harvest and, um, 
And contrary to popular belief, I actually do turn those into quite successful marinara and various other things, but I mix them up a little. But um, <laughs> lo and behold, last, last season we had about three volunteer cherry tomatoes. They just literally appeared in the middle of straw bales and things. It was pretty amusing. And those things just took off, just, just a stupid. So I kind of hoped, as we're not planting them that this year, that maybe, just maybe, we might have had a few more volunteer cherry tomatoes come, come through from the old garden, but no. Nothing appears to have actually survived in that for some reason. I guess the chickens and the ducks are a little thorough with their seed hunting. Um, whereas the pigs, being pigs, you know, ate like crazy and pooped it all out everywhere. And a couple of the uh, tromboncinos have uh, uh, obviously decided that they're going to, or at least one, because I don't know that it's actually multiples, decided that it's going to take off. So anyway, we'll look forward to that, that adventure in a few days. Get past the work week. Hope the weather kind of takes takes up. A couple more days is not going to not going to cause any problems. And as you can see, tromboncino is poking out through the fencing there, through the fencing and over fencing over there, and oh my goodness knows. I can even see it through the long grass, so that is going to be quite the adventure, needless to say. Very good. All right. Well, I hope you all have a great day. Kia ora. Today's Mindless Ramble was brought to you by lack of thinking. Don't make that a habit. Take care.